Somewhere just across the Jordan River There's a place of everlasting joy and peace The tree of life is blooming there forever And the crown of life is waiting there for me and that sounds like home to me Like where I long to be There'll be no tears To fill our eyes again The hills will echo with the story As we sing of His grace and glory Where the saints of God will be that sounds like home to me Well, that sounds like home to me Like where I long to be There'll be no tears To fill our eyes again The hills will echo with the story as we sing of His grace and glory Where the saints of God will be That sounds like home to me They say that there are mansions in that city A crystal river flowing by the tree of life no pain or disappointments there to hurt us. Oh, and Jesus Christ Himself will be the light. And that sounds like home to me, like where I long to be. There'll be no tears to fill our eyes again. The hills will echo with the story As we sing of His grace and glory Where the saints of God will be That sounds like home to me They say that there are mansions in that city a crystal river flowing by the tree of life No pain or disappointments there to hurt us Oh, and Jesus Christ Himself will be the light And that sounds like home to me Like where I long be. There'll be no tears to fill our eyes again. The hills will echo with the story as we sing of His grace and glory. Where the saints of God will be, that sounds like home to me. Oh, that sounds like home to me Like where I long to be There'll be no tears To fill our eyes again Oh, the hills will echo with the story As we sing of His grace and glory Where the saints of God will be that sounds like home to me Oh, the hills will echo with the story As we sing of His grace and glory Where the saints of God will be That sounds like home to me Where the saints of God will be 
that sounds like home to me. You know what it is to be forgiven. And forgiven is more than just having your sins washed away. Forgiven takes care of your conscience. It takes care of feeling a burden of sin carrying you around day by day. Not having any liberty. The Lord has made me free. He forgave me in my past. Nothing's going to be held against me. And so being forgiven is so vital because the sinner that has not been forgiven will not go to heaven. He'll be cast out of the presence of God and he'll not be able to go to see Jesus Christ. So this is very important because if you're not forgiven, you're going to go out unprepared for the rapture or death or heaven. All need to be forgiven. Sinners pay the price of not having that. Jesus talked about forgiveness. The reason that we are forgiven is that Jesus died for us on the cross. And the Bible tells us in Romans 3 and 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That means we need to be forgiven. God wants to forgive you where you won't pay that cost. You can know what it is and that ought to give you joy. That ought to give you a song. That ought to give you a dance. Every sin that you've committed God cast it as far as the east is from the west he cast it in the sea of forgiveness and it will never be remembered against you again Psalm 103 and 3 who forgiveth all their thine iniquities all of them some of them are more weightier than others but he forgives all of your iniquities in Psalm 133 and 4 if thou Lord shouldest mark iniquities O Lord who shall stand but there is forgiveness with thee that thou mayest be feared in other words if God marks iniquities who's going to stand the sinner's not going to stand in the presence of God the sinner cannot honor God he doesn't have it in him but we honor God because Jesus has touched us we have been forgiven and we fear him once you're forgiven there's a born again experience that forgiveness leads you uh, to repentance it leads you and it's because of repentance you're forgiven it leads you to a born again experience with God where you can serve God and honor God and live for God did God raised Jesus from the dead why did he put him at the right hand of the father so that sinners could come and they could bow before him and be forgiven you can go to man he can't forgive you you can go to your companion they can't forgive you you can go to the church be baptized in water that doesn't forgive you you can join the church that doesn't forgive you forgiveness comes because Jesus died on a cross and rose again from the dead and you come to him and he forgives you of your sins Being without salvation is to be without God you cannot have God apart from salvation only the saved really know God to be without God is to be without hope. If you don't have Jesus today, you're living in a position without hope. Salvation will take care of the future. Salvation will take care of eternity. Heaven will be yours instead of hell. All need salvation. A born again experience is what brings that salvation. You're forgiven. And then once you're forgiven, you're born anew. You're a new creation. And then your name is written down in heaven and then you become a child of God then you have a song that the world does not have you have a testimony that the world cannot give you have a life that the world cannot live you have a relationship that the world does not have you're forgiven your name's written down in heaven you're born from on high you have a reason to shout you have a reason to sing and magnify God this morning a need of salvation so vital to this world and they can't see it. Oh, if people only knew what it was to be saved, you couldn't get them in the church. This world would be in a different position. Psalm 27 and 1 said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. In whom shall I be afraid? When God becomes your salvation and he becomes your light and your strength, you don't have to fear the past. You don't have to fear the 
future. You don't have to fear the present because God has obligated himself to take care of you as a child. Salvation comes through Christ. He's the door, the only door. St. John 10 and 9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm in the fold. The shepherd is the door. For you to get in, you got to go through the shepherd. For you to get out, you got to go through the shepherd. I want to tell you, when you get saved, you come through the door. When you go out, you go through the door. If you backslide, you know what you're doing? You're going through Jesus. He's standing at the door. And the same Jesus that invited you into the kingdom is wanting to keep you from going out. He's wanting you to preserve yourself. He wants you to be happy in Christ. I'm not looking for the world to satisfy me. There's nothing in this world can make me satisfied. But when I got to the fact mountain of living water and I got to the bread of life it satisfies me how many of you are satisfied today just give him a hand clap I'm satisfied with Jesus I'm glad that I know him he's the only savior in Acts 4 and 12 neither is there salvation in any other for there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved we receive this salvation by grace we don't deserve it. Ephesians 2 and 8 said, For by grace are you saved, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You're saved by grace through faith. You believe Jesus saved you. You believe he'll keep you. You believe he's coming again. You believe there's a heaven. You believe one of these days you're going there. And when the devil comes by and he brings that angel of death, you can welcome that angel because you've repented. You've been born again you have salvation you know the name that put you there is that name and the name of Jesus that wrote your name down in glory is going to keep you on the road to glory until you cross the finish line and you get to where God is I tell you he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day he's going to keep me he's going to keep me maybe somebody here this morning you say, preacher, I want that Jesus. I want that blessing. I want that power. I want that touch. You don't have to be a sinner. You don't have to break the laws of God. You can live close to God and you can live to where your desire will be to do right and not do wrong. You will not be negative. You'll be positive. You won't put on the things you laid down. You'll continue to take off the things that hinders and lay aside every weight in the sin which does easily beset you. I had one of our members talk to me the other night and he said, he said, I don't see why people wouldn't want to come to church here. said they've got good fellowship. They've got good music. They've got good preaching. I don't know if he's talking about me or not. I hope he was. Everything's good, but let me tell you, some people are not looking for good. Their desire is worldly. You're not going to win a worldly-minded person till they repent. And they will never be holy till they're made holy. I don't care how many rules you try to throw in their face. They're only going to live what the desire is in their heart. If you want to slip around and do things or something wrong in here, you get sanctified real good. You can live holy when nobody else is around. And you can live holy when everybody's around. Because you love God. You love the holiness of God. And you're going to live right. Father, I've prayed and I've sought God for this message. And I've given my heart to this message today. I pray that everybody will take it because I'm preaching it in love. I want them to be blessed. I want them to have power. I don't want them looking back. If we look back, we're not fit. You said, if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. We got to continue to press on and lay aside everything and just keep marching. Touch somebody at the sir. cross. Truth in her at the cross. Truth in her. Stand and sing. Stand and sing. Touch her, Lord. And the Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stand and sing that song with me. Let's sing about the cross. Let's sing about the cross. Bless her, God. Bless her, God. Bless her, God. I'm happy. Hallelujah. Bless this family, God. Bless this family. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Yes. I am the <laughs>
Pro Rock cannot fail. Cannot fail, son. He's a growing up, ain't he? Oh, yes. I received my sight, and now I'm happy all the day. Woo! At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. And the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. You trouble, God. You that trouble. It was at the cross. Don't worry, heaven. Though you're in charge of all of it, God will take care of it. Side. 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 Side.